Hey, welcome in. Well, folks, the NBA has created an SJW award. Yes, they have. <laughs> Things have been going so badly for them that, well, they decided to make it worse, which is totally rational. Here's the headline. NBA creates a social justice award named for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So let's see, the Social Justice Champion Award. You just can't make this up, can you? You really can't make it up. It will honor players who are making efforts to promote social justice. Each NBA team will be able to nominate one of its players to be considered for the award. Five finalists and one winner will be chosen from the list of people. I wonder if LeBron will win the first one for his championing of um, teenagers stabbing each other rights, I guess. I guess because that's <laughs> apparently he thinks kids should be able to stab each other. I mean, I'm just going off his tweets here. And, you know, at the end of the day, it just makes them stronger. It toughens them up, a good stabbing. And this will probably go over great, won't it? Except, oh, wait a second. As NBA ratings decline, poll shows 34% watched less sports over social justice messages. So, I don't, maybe this isn't a good idea. What's going on over here? The NBA is in terrible decline. What? While the past couple of years have seen the NBA Finals ratings drop, the decline increased at an alarming rate in 2020, with the NBA Finals in the bubble receiving an average of 7.5 million viewers a game. That's a 48% decline from the 2019 Finals. And let's take a look here. First game, 7.5 million. The sixth game, 8.3 million. You don't have to go back too far. I mean, here we have first game. This is 2017. First game, 18 million. Last game, 24 million. Let's go back a little further. Here you got 10.5. This is 2005. 19 million for the seventh game. Here we go. 2004, 15 million. First game, 21 million for the last game. That was a game five. Here, 18 million, 17 million. So, yeah, that seems to be a fairly big decline. And they had LeBron in the finals in 2022, didn't they? So these are dreadful numbers. People aren't liking something. But maybe this whole SJW thing, <laughs> that'll turn it around. Because we know they are very concerned with social justice. I mean, except for, you know, crimes against humanity, right? In uh, China, they're fine with that. And here's a headline. This is from August 2020. China gets the NBA to shut up and dribble. So, yeah, I mean, they're obviously not concerned with, you know, social justice or or justice or, you know, human rights or anything in general. Especially not when, uh, let's see, in the NBA's case, Tencent has a five-year, $1.5 billion deal to stream NBA games in China, one of the league's most lucrative markets outside of the U.S., the deal was signed last July. That was from uh, August 2020. So $1.5 billion, that's a lot of money. I'm sure there's much more to come as well. That's not something that you do social justice uh, protests against, right? Because that $1.5 billion is right there. All you have to do is have no principles or conscience. It's easy. Especially when you can virtue signal at home and then pretend that you have you know, principles or conscience or anything like that. Especially when you have teenagers that aren't being allowed to stab each other. I mean, that cannot stand. Anyway, what do they say here? As professional sports players have weighed into social issues over the past year, many have begun to see pushback against their actions. Pro basketball player LeBron James recently tried to walk back his actions after posting a tweet that appeared to dox the Ohio police officer who shot Micaiah Bryant while in the process of saving another girl's life. Let's see, he said, quote, I fueled the wrong conversation about Micaiah Bryant. What, like, it's okay to stab people? <laughs> Is that, yeah, I would say that's the wrong conversation. I don't know, maybe he needs to come up with like a new hand signal or something, like like fist raised while holding a knife, preparing to stab. Is that one? Anyway, um, yeah, this is hilarious. And I think the thing is, the key to this is really, you see here, all this money coming from China. China loves this. China loves all the social justice stuff. They're pushing it hard. From my understanding of things, there's all kinds of bot accounts uh, set up to promote this sort of thing because they know it causes unrest and division and essentially weakens uh, all Western, not just the states, but all Western countries, all democracies. So, th of course, they would love the NBA's uh, social justice stuff. And, you know, there's a lot more than $1.5 to be had in China for the NBA. So they probably don't actually care. 
about falling ratings and falling revenue in the United States because they're just looking east and they don't give a damn. Now, my guess is that this is a very, very short-sighted move on their part, and this could really come back to bite them very badly. And, you know, getting in bed with the Chinese Communist Party may not be the greatest idea. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.